go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, Anthony Joshua, the word on the street is AJ is back to the United States looking for an American trainer. And I need, I was like, man, I ain't got no stops to make today. Yep, need to stop at the gas station. I'm on half. So if that shit below three, my shit going back on F. So, um, but. But yeah, let's talk about it, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So apparently he visited Virgil Hunter gym once again. Last year he visited Virgil Hunter, Ronnie Shields, and Robert Garcia. Now um, he you know, Ronnie Shields said that he was the preferred choice. But Ronnie Shields couldn't go to the UK. He wanted AJ to come to the USA down in Houston and Plex Gym. And train um aj said no way you got to come to uk ronnie shields was like well so be it um i'm gonna recommend you to robin garcia let me speak on robin garcia real quick robin garcia was a great trainer for him and it seemed like anthony joshua don't want to take responsibility for his own for his own actions inside the ring you know at the end of the day what can what can i tell you you hurt the dude step it up and if you can't trust your conditioning, that's an Anthony Joshua thing. That's not a Robert Garcia thing. Robert Garcia had you looking way better in the second fight. So it seemed like Anthony Joshua don't want to take accountability. Now, is it in a different way than Anthony Joshua? I mean, Deontay Wilder? Absolutely. Deontay Wilder came up with all wild conspiracy theories not to take his L. Anthony Joshua was doing it different. And, it, and that's what a lot of shit with racism, I want to point out. And this ain't to make a point about racism. This is to make an analogy or a comparison. It's like a lot of people is cool or under racial, under, under, undertone racism. You know, like petty, like petty, you know, and a lot of times, you know, I think, especially with the, the younger generation, I be thinking that they don't even know when racism is being committed to them. They the main generation talking about the shit don't exist. You know, so sometimes I be thinking that people just don't know that it's happening to them in my humble opinion but then again a lot of people prefer the under undertones uh race race racial undertones than blatant racism i'd rather you flat out let me know where i stand you know always been a real one i'm gonna let you know where you stand with me you let me know where i stand with you stand with you and that's why i don't trust people straight up and down that's why i don't trust people bro because you don't know what people agenda is what people trying to use you you don't know what people's true agenda is. None of that. The grade of people out here is terrible, bro. But, you know, at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua, that's the difference between Joshua Wilder. Wilder is blatantly, you know, you know, coming up with all types of, several different type of theories and shit like that. Why he lost to Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua is just, you know, he letting his moves, like, kind of tell you. To me, it's no different. You know, somebody out here pushing the message just like Charleston White and nobody give a fuck about the message that he pushing, but they pushing Charleston White content because he understands that you got to make a splash for people even to, 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 to get the message. You got to have the bells and whistles for these for to even get the eyes on you. You hope, hopefully somebody can digest the, the, the message and it can help somebody else. You know, when I used to talk about those type of videos, times like, well, you, you reaching somebody, somebody, at the end of the day, somebody ain't enough. I got penalized on YouTube for keeping it real. You know, I got penalized for that shit. And you think, you know, people that support my channel help me, you know, spread the word. No, they just hop to another motherfucking channel and, and support another motherfucking channel. And just like the bells and whistles and the ignorant, the yelling, the lies, they love to be lied to. They don't like that real shit. People love to be lied to. Damn, somebody got in the car accident. They like to be lied Oh, I ain't going through all the glass. Uh -huh, I just got some, I got new tires. I go around. <laughs> people like to be lied to. And people don't, don't like the, the hard, cold truth. And at the end of the day, dude, the truth is the truth hurt. Even if you feel like it's, you know, you're not liable for what's going on. But at the end of the day, you got to take that feeling. You, 
got to take you got to take that feeling and you got to and you got to eat it. And you got to get better. And that's how I look at it, but you know, like I said, that's the difference between him and Wilder. He ain't taking no accountability neither. That Usyk fight was there for him to take. It was, and you, oh, this house is beautiful. They said they, they uh, put up for uh, Christmas. I ain't gonna lie. He's shitting on everybody in the neighborhood. I'm gonna think about the suburbs. You get great Halloween candy out here and um, Christmas decorations. But yeah, ain't no different. And people act like it's a difference between Wilder and Joshua. Ain't no different. They both started off late in the game of boxing. Anthony Joshua just look a little bit more technical. That's it. Both of them are raw products. But I'm telling y'all, man, the darker somebody is, the more hate that he get that that they get. And I'm not even talking about from white people or the others from the own brother. I'm telling you, Ronda Rousey do the same shit Clarissa Shields do. White people, white people, black people love Ronda Rousey. Clarissa Shields do it, niggas hate her. I'm telling y'all, man, that's a direct correlation. People don't want to believe me. They don't, but nonetheless, he ain't taking no accountability. And Vladimir Klitschko told him a, a while ago, drop the weights. When he boxed Andy Ruiz, that's the weight that he should be fighting at. How about that being an issue? That's the way that he should be fighting at. Whatever you fought Andy Ruiz at, that's how he should be fighting. All that extra muscle, it, you don't you you don't have the ability to carry all that extra muscle. That's the facts. You 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 ain't going you ain't got the heart to thug it out. Or the genetics to thug it out like Timothy Brown and keep fighting through fatigue. He put too, he put, he too muscular for one. That's a strength and conditioning thing. Are you going to the accident? That's a strength and conditioning thing. That's exactly what it is. A strength and conditioning thing. Stop, just stop picking up the fucking weights, dude. But you going back to the U.S. trying to pull somebody to the U.K., I mean... When you gonna learn? You telling other UK fighters go to America, train in America, but you you don't want to take your own advice. Sound crazy to you? Sound crazy? But then again, I understand it's all type of taxes that come with training in America and all types of shit. You've seen the best of Anthony Joshua. Will Anthony Joshua capture a world title again? I don't know. Will Deontay capture a world title again? I don't know. Cause there's some young killers on the come up. And they coming. And they coming. Every time you lose, you're going to want to switch up now. Robert Garcia had the perfect game plan. You didn't have the conditioning to do so. The day before the fight, a couple days before the fight, talking about, well, I don't know how Terrence Crawford and Floyd continue to fight through condition, how they conditioning is so good and all that. When you saying that a couple days or the day before the fight, yo ass is doing Usyk was dead tired and he kept going. He thugged it out, you know, through those type of conditions. So it's something that it's something in your strength and conditioning that in your overall training camp that you lacking to do. Is it drinking? Is it you know too much weight? You know what I'm saying? Lifting too much weight, whatever it may be. Not enough cardio. Maybe you need to you know step up, step up your your conditioning. Anybody seen AJ running some fucking miles? Maybe he needs to step up his conditioning. And if you are running miles, then maybe you need to ask for sprints, some high intensity uh, sprints. But now every time you lose, you're gonna switch the trainer. Dude, can't nobody, can't nobody put no, can't nobody put that, put that organ in your chest, bro. They can't. But what you can do is find you a strength and conditioning coach that you can listen to. But you, he was going, allegedly going, Garth Davies said he was allegedly clashing with, with Robert Garcia and camp and all type of stuff. Ricky had blaming Garcia and Angel Fernandez for letting him go on the rant. Fuck, I'm going to stop another grown man for going on the rant. What you want me to do? He 
you already you hire me and then you already question my authority in camp. Like then you lost to this dude. So imagine what his strength and conditioning is like. He probably do what he want to do. Quite frankly, he probably doing what he want to do. That nigga should not lift the weight, bruh. He should be running, 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 jogging, 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 running, high intensity sprints, all that type of shit. It's hard. That man, that's conditioning, that conditioning, lifting weights, man. That's the easy part. And if you're going to lift, everything should be at a, at a moderate to, to lower weight and should be superset. That's going to that's going to increase explosion, and that's going to increase stamina with with the with the with the running and the jogging and all that shit. That's exactly what that's going to do. Circuit training. You can circuit train without weights, but you got to run, bro. You know, especially everybody I see people come in the gym, and um, I be looking at their workouts. They ride the bike and. They don't be doing shit like you ain't improving nothing, bro. You got to have a plan. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I learned to live with some college buddies and penitentiary niggas. And a few people that, that helped me out here and there. But you got to ultimately, you got to ultimately find out. You got to have, you got to have a plan. You got to come in there and just. Or do chess every day and none of that shit do. You know, if you, you trying to, you know, live a healthy lifestyle. You got to get in that motherfucking run. You got to get in there and run. You know, you got to do the shit that other people don't want to do to further your, to further your, you know, to further your journey. Doing the same thing at the same weight every day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna, you ain't going to progress, but it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. You cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Check out the heavyweight boxing talk playlist. Check out the boxing playlist. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.